Hi everybody, today I have William here with us. He will be talking a little bit in Spanish as well. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and let you introduce yourself. Yes, I'm a professor in Socorro at the New Mexico School of Mines. Mm -hmm. And I'm also an economic geologist, which means I, in my case, I explore metals. And my specialty are copper, silver, and gold. Yo soy William Chavez, soy un profesor en la Escuela de Minas de Nuevo México en Socorro. Y tengo un doctorado en geología. Yo hago extracción minera. Yo busco metales. Mi especialidad son en cobre, plata y oro. Awesome. Thank you. So the first question I have for you is how did you get to be where you are today? So what was your start like for you? Was it something you were always interested in or did it kind of, did you stumble upon it? Well, I grew up in the Mojave Desert in Southern California and really it was in a small town. And all we had was basically desert with lots of rocks in it and a beautiful blue sky. And I fell in love with the rocks part. And in the high school, I had very good teachers who helped to curry my interest in science, in my case, in geology. Mm -hmm. And so I began my interest in high school, and then I pursued that in college, again, here in Socorro at the School of Mines. Yo nací en el desierto de Mojave, en el sur de California. Y solamente quedamos allí con desierto, con rocas y cielo. Y me encantó las rocas. Entonces yo en la escuela secundaria empecé a desarrollar mi interés en geología y lo persiguió entonces en la Universidad de Quijón Socorro en Nuevo México. Awesome. Thanks, William. All right, William, the next question I have for you is what do you find the most interesting or exciting thing in what you do or anything you have done, you know, from the past? I think really that question can be answered in two ways. One is the education way. I enjoy teaching mm -hmm. and it's really gratifying to see students go on to, to do basically what I do in exploration of geology. So that's one aspect. The other one on the personal aspect is, is travel. I've gotten to travel to a lot of countries, see a lot of different cultures, people, races, religion, foods, yeah, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's an amazing ability as an exploration geologist just to travel. Yeah. Entonces, lo que yo hago, eh, realmente son dos cosas. Uno es enseñanza. Y a mí me encanta enseñar y es muy gratificante de ver estudiantes seguir adelante con la misma carrera que tengo yo. Otra cosa es viajar. Hay que viajar para ser un geólogo de exploración porque hay minerales en cualquier parte. Y he visto culturas, religiones, comidas en cualquier parte del mundo que para mí es excelente, es un, es un abono de ser un geólogo económico, de tener la capacidad de viajar mucho en el mundo. Nice. Awesome. Okay. So another question I have for you is, do you have a mentor um, that you currently still have in your life or have had in your life? I know you talked a little bit about um, teachers you've had, you know, in your past, but it can be anybody who's just, it's really resonated with you to this day. You know, I can say that I've had a number of mentors in my career. And what's interesting to me is that these people just pick, pick me to, to help me. I didn't necessarily ask for help, but they came up and they said, you know, here's what you should be doing. This is an option you might consider. Here's mm -hmm. what you should be thinking about in your career if you want to be an exploration geologist. And that's had an amazing impact on what I've done and the decisions that I've made in my life to, to be an exploration geologist. So I've had many mentors over the years, beginning in high school and continuing throughout my professional career here as an economic geologist. Entonces, much, muchas personas me han dado consejo en mi carrera, empezando en la escuela secundaria hasta, hasta ahora. Entonces, esas personas siempre me han indicado, me han guiado, me han sugerido cosas que yo empleo al hoy en día en mi carrera para guiarme, para mejorarme, y para sugerir cosas que yo puedo hacer para ser un buen geólogo de exploración. Yeah, it's beautiful how it works out that way sometimes two people just come to you in your life. So that's really cool. Yeah. Very much so. So William, I know you brought some stuff to show us today. Um, I just wanted to give you an opportunity to show us what you brought for us. One of the things that I remember as, as a kid is that people like rocks and so in my line of work, I look for rocks that are like, well, they're like this. This is a nice blue rock. 
Yeah. Um, this happens to come from Chile. And this rock is about 60% of this. And this is copper. You can see there's a nice copper penny here. And so yeah. people who do what I do, we look for rocks to produce, well, in this case, metals, something that society can use. Entonces, lo que yo he hecho es, um, en mis observaciones, que gente le encantan rocas. Y en mi caso, yo busco rocas que son más o menos así, mm -hmm. que son rocas en este caso que son bonitas. Y en este caso, bien, esta roca contiene más o menos uh, 60% de, de eso. Ahí se nota que hay un, una moneda de cobre. Entonces, la roca, a pesar de que es azul, contiene aproximadamente 60% de cobre. Eso es lo que yo hago y también que hacen mis estudiantes. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, so the final question I have for you is, do you have any advice for um, just anyone in our community in general or anyone just who's looking at a STEM profession or in the STEM profession or anything like that? I was told when I was in high school and then in my early college career, whatever you ultimately decide to do, make it your passion. Make it something that you absolutely love to do. And as I mentioned earlier, make it something that's not a job. Make it, make it your career. Make it something in which you're so interested that you'll just be happy to wake up every morning and do that. And in my case, waking up every morning may be in a tent somewhere in the Andes. I've gotten up in a tent in the middle of Tibet. That's amazing. Going outside at a high elevation, it's cold, the food is not very good, <laughs> but you just love what you're doing, and so you go ahead and do it. So whatever you decide to do in any career, make it something that you love. En mi carrera, entonces, lo más importante es felicidad. Es decir, en cualquier carrera que uno elija, hay que tener pasión en hacerlo mm -hmm. y siempre de ser feliz en hacerlo para que no sea simplemente un trabajo sino un, una pasión un deseo un amor de hacerlo entonces en cualquier manera que uno elija lo que quiere hacer que lo hace pensando en tiene que ser una cosa en lo cual se queda completamente contento el corazón en hacerlo Eso es lo que he hecho yo en mi carrera. A pesar de que estoy viajando mucho, estoy durmiendo en una carpa en los Andes o en Tibet, en las Himalayas, está nevando, hace frío, la comida tal vez no es muy buena, pero a la vez me encantó todo. Entonces, eso es lo que uno tiene que hacer para ser entonces un geólogo de exploración, que lo hace una vida y no simplemente un trabajo. Awesome. Thank you so much, William, and just thank you for taking the time to share Welcome. everything you've shared with us today. We really appreciate it.